Hey guys, Greenfly here. Hope you guys are doing well. And I've got actually a very interesting... Huh. It appears that I've got some kind of message from someone. Huh. The email's from Jimmy Draws Art. Hmm. I wonder what he could want. Let's have a look, shall we? Well, hello there, Mr. Greenfly. This is Jimmy Dragon from Jimmy Draws Art. And I have to say thank you for asking me to collab with you. I am very excited to be doing this mashup with you. And I'm sure you will do an awesome job with the prompts that I have for you. Okay, for the first part, uh, we were given the task of picking a creature to draw. I was originally going to say a dragon, but that's too obvious for me. So I picked my favorite animal, and that is a cat. But it's supposed to be a creature. So I looked up cat creature on Google and was presented with many options of mythological cat creatures. There were two that made me curious like a cat. I will give you a choice between these two. You can do either a cactus cat or a cat sith. It's your choice. The second part was to pick an object to mash up the drawing with. Well, I was in a total blank on this one. I went online to a random object generator. Sure enough, there was one. The first two I liked a lot and I think will go well with this challenge. You can pick between a spring or socks. Again, it's your choice. Now the last part to, was to pick a feeling. I was going back and forth with all kinds of feelings, but the one that kept coming back to me, I want you to draw this challenge with a sinister feeling to it. That is what I would like you to do. Now you're going to send me my prompts that I have to do on my channel. I am really excited to hear what you have to send me and I really look forward to seeing what you produce with the prompts I have given you. Now let's get at it, my friend. Yes, you heard right. We are doing a collab together. And this is going to be really fun. So pretty much the prompts that he has given me. So I think we'll decide on which ones. I'm not entirely sure which ones I'm going to decide. But I think I know which ones I'm going to go. I think I'm going to go with the Cactus Cat. I'm going to go with the Spring. And of course he's given us a feeling sinister quite a cool combination and of course I'll be giving his ones as well in a little message I hope that he likes the ones that I give him of course I'm not going to mention to you guys because that kind of that spoils the surprise isn't it but yes you'll have to check out on his side to see what he's going to be drawing on his side I guess you guys can call this this is a pretty much a creature mashup so you have you got a creature you have the object and you have the feeling that's what we decided to go with I think I've talked enough, let us dive right into it and I'm looking forward to doing this. This is going to be really fun and I look forward to see his end result as well. So let's dive in, shall we? Alrighty, it is time to do this drawing. So we have our three parts that we must make sure that is in this drawing. One, we must make sure that we it is a cat is a cat. We also must make sure that we have the spring element in there and we also have to have the feeling and mood of Sinister. Definitely an interesting ones that he's picked. Well, like he said that he kind of did a game of a few little options, but I decided to go with these ones. These ones I am very completely unfamiliar, like really unfamiliar with any of these. And I thought the kind of spring and cactus would be quite a cool little combination. So, to get started, I decided, how am I going to do this? That is, I mean, let's be honest, you always have to think, how, what, how am I going to do this? Well, I decided that I would have them have a spring tail. But it's also kind of in that, like, obviously to show that this is, this is the spring tail. But I also had to implement the other bits, because obviously with cactuses have the spiky parts that kind of come out. So I went, well... It could be almost with kind of like a thorned kind of tail that's made of metal, but it's a spring tail, of course. The other part I decided to do was also the other type of the tail is add a kind of flower part to it, because I know that some cactuses can bloom flowers. And I thought, well, that would be a good little part to implement as well. The other thing I also decided was, well, where do you find cactuses? You find cactuses in deserts. I think, well, that, there we go. That's another thing I just threw in there. I actually haven't drawn a proper desert actually before. I think I've drawn maybe a wasteland, but a wasteland and a desert are kind of... 
different. The wasteland is more of like I did for mostly apocalyptic thing things so like nuclear and fallout and stuff like that. But it's a desert, so there is still life in that. It's just like the you know sand and everything and. You know, actual other cactuses, which I'll be drawing in them as well. The other part I wanted to also show is there's kind of that metal thing. So I did the other bottom half of the feet a bit square, so it looked like those are the metal parts of the sides. And I also decided the legs would be kind of springy as well. So when it jumps, it can jump really great heights. Almost like it has a natural double jump. And yeah, that's quite definitely... Definitely a cat you don't want to mess with. I I got I got carried away, but this was definitely a really co cool combination to go with, and I'm really glad that he actually chose these ones. Well, he gave me the other options, but you know, very good ones to do, definitely. And I was actually very very much enjoying this. Now to pretty much finish this off. Like I said, we're going to do some cactuses, and kind of that it's kind of the sun is kind of setting, I think that would be look really nice, a little bit orange, it's on a rock, I think that would kind of make it a bit stand out as well. And the very last part, the very last things that we're going to do, apart from the rock, we've also got a little bit of darkness and shading just to make it get, because I noticed when Sinister things that I look along the line is they've kind of got like a dark base at the top and everything that makes it look sinister. And of course I added the cactus as well and a few rocks as well just to kind of give it that desert feel. Well hello how are you? Yes hello <laughs> the first, actually seen you first time actually as well actually talking yes. to you as well so. I know right? <laughs> Doing uh, all the email I know I'll like, publish the email and then Discord and stuff like that and actually also doing a collab as well with you as well which has been yeah <laughs> so that's a lot a lot of firsts definitely a lot of firsts that's for sure so I guess we should really go into it should I show you mine first or do you want to show me what you've what you've you've got sure I I could definitely show you first oh wow <laughs> <laughs> oh wow that is that that is that's really cool uh oh you've got yeah you absolutely yeah you've got absolutely you've definitely nailed it, that's for sure right to well so i worked with the props that you gave me and this is this is what i Oh, you went with the cactus cat. Nice. <laughs> um, oh, very nice. You used the spring as his tail. Nice. <laughs> Got the sinister look going. Very good. Yeah, that's that's really awesome. <laughs> that's really cool. The thing that I had to I had to look deep a lot of it was how do I how do I get a cat to look sinister as well? That was mm -hmm. the one thing. I was like, so cats can kind of look sinister quite easily but then I went it's quite easily to do uh when I was looking at the the cat sith and then I was like I wonder can I do that to the cactus kind of one that was kind of the one because mm -hmm. I noticed the cactus ones looked a bit too either cute and I was like can I make it thingy and I have the spring as also his like he's kind of like got the half kind of like spring body and like the half kind of cactus part of him stuff like that well looking he said it's the look. Nice. <laughs> I like it. It is very cool. It is very cool. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, yeah. I, abs I absolutely had a lot of fun doing this. This was uh, this was definitely a challenge. I will admit, there's definitely things I would absolutely not pick whatsoever. Like, <laughs> yeah, anything I know, that, right? like when I even heard of this, this is a thing. And I was like, okay, then this is going to be... Uh, this is definitely going to be interesting, but I absolutely had a lot of fun doing this. This was uh, this was yes. fantastic doing this. It was, it was lots of fun. It was a good step out of the comfort zone sort of thing for me. That too, too so, as well. Yes. Like, because um, mm -hmm. I haven't done a proper collab before. So this, even doing this is like actually a first proper collab as well. This is, was definitely a good experience as well. So, yeah, definitely a good experience. Definitely. 
I enjoyed it so much. <laughs> and uh, I definitely, I definitely look forward to doing definitely more collabs and maybe heck, maybe even doing something in the future, possibly maybe later down the line. So. Oh, definitely. I had had so much fun with this one. I would definitely be open for doing another collab with you, of course. <laughs> I will admit the only thing was when I realized it's always the time zones, you always then remember, oh wait, the time zones, oh, no. that's the only thing. <laughs> I know, because I'm like, here for me, it's like the middle of the afternoon. It's, just, it's like just beginning the afternoon. It's like noon and Your day's right just now. starting and I'm heading to bed. That was the... <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, I want to honestly thank you again for agreeing to this collab as well. This was oh, you're th welcome. This, it this was, was so much fun. This was a lot of fun to do, and I really do hope to do something again like this in the future with you. Definitely, definitely. I enjoyed it so much. Very good. Nice working with you. <laughs> same here, same here. I look forward to working with you in the future. Well, that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I want to thank Jerry Draws Art for agreeing to this collab with me. Make sure to actually check him out. I'll be sure to leave his link down in the description below so you can check out his channel and check out some other cool stuff he does. Trust me, you guys will, if you like my stuff, you'll like his stuff as well. So, well, that's pretty much it. There's not much else to say. I hope to do more things like this in the future. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Goodbye, this is Foolish. Until then, we'll see you guys next time.